was cut off. So I had to hide myself. Hashem said to him, who told you such a thing? Where did you see? Where do you see you were cut off? And that was other Mauritians' mistake. Other Mauritians, when Hashem said, Hamino ate, imagine when Hashem said, uh, said to other Mauritians, um, did you eat from the Eitz and Das? He should have said, yeah, Hashem, I ate from the Eitz and Das and I'm still connected to you no matter what. This is very, very deep. It's Mamish Dvar Mamukim Kivshono Shalom. But we have to also use these, and, and, and I think that very big people, the toes, and I think it's in these bits here also, this, that the toes of the very big people, Shlomo Melech Moshe, all, all the other Mauritian, all the big ones, was this. That this very fine line that's in between the Avera and the and cutting yourself off from Hashem, they 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 were metashtish the gvul. They didn't know the boundary of like um, like if you do say that you never get cut off from Hashem. So I mean, so what's wrong with doing an avera? So and take it's very easy to take these ideas in and and make a mistake, but. One thing in what's no good to us is that after a person makes a mistake, after a person is nixa, after a person wastes years of his life, let's say, he has your ain shum yush ba'olam cloud. The rest of her every said as it's known. But it's interesting to notice that the East Bitzer, which was from a whole different school, and maybe deep down they weren't from a different uh, By the way, Rabbi Kaplan, Ein Shum Yush Ba'olam Klal is just to mention from the uh, Goin Chavarenu Rav Tzvi Cheshen. He says, this is Roshi Teva's Ashivcha. Yeah. And you'll find this in every crucial moment in the Chumash, you'll find this Roshi Teva's. Uh, Yehuda. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found the Vaya Sham Yehuda Bas Ish Kanan. If you look at these words, I think it starts with the Sham. Sham Yehuda Bas Ish Kanan is Rashi Davis Ashivcha. Ain't Shum Yush Bolum Kla. And that's Dafka when Yehuda fell, that he, that, uh, that was the beginning of his fall. And uh, the end of the fall was the Vayach Shevel Lazona of an Ovoelach. And then, and the ancient Muse Bola made it, and Mashiach came out of that. Yeah, and now, one, one more place, I, maybe I'll find it for you while you're talking, is right before Vayitain Lecha, before Yaakov gives. Uh, oh, yeah. Vayove Lo, no. Uh, keep talking, I'll follow, look for it. It's, it's uh, one or two psukim before. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is, and he actually he does, he brings him Yehuda, he brings it, he brings over here the Lashon Azar, even that Yehuda is the one that is never afraid of falling, he's never afraid of Hester Ponim. Now, this is, this idea from, from, from all this talk comes out, that everything is in a person's mind. Hashem gave a good, Hashem gave such connections, such strong connections in, in a person's mind that if you look at yourself one way, it'll be that way. You look at yourself another way, it'll be that way. And this is the main chet of other Mauritian that, that, he, that when Hashem said to you, it said to him, that other Mauritian Taka felt that, that he ate from the AIDS and that gate that put into him the feeling that I'm separated. I I created Kilo, I created a space outside of the Ratan Hashem, outside of of Hashem's world. You did that get out of Ganadin. 
says the Izbitzer in this piece, he got a mission, could have said, Lech Lumen Shasohani. And very like the story of Rav Lazar Reb Shimon, that he saw this Adam that was Machur B'yosheh, very ugly. And he, and he looked down on him. So the Adam said, what, what are you looking down on me? Lech Lumen Shasohani, go to the Creator that created me. And tell him, look how ugly this creation is. Uh, that you created is. Uh, and, and if other Mauritian would have said that, it would have said, well, a little is nice, Sam. You, you created me. And I did against your will, but I still, I'm still with you. I believe that everything is from you. Even my aver is from you. Then he would have, he would have continued to be in Ganadin, but he didn't do that. He said, no, I lost, I failed, I don't have the mitts anymore. So in his mind, he was a failure, so he became a failure. It's the cock of a person's mind is unbelievable. We see nowadays, we have cell phones, I always say, that the, the Chobetz Chaim, he used the modern technology of his time as Mishalim for Ruchnis, but of course they didn't have cell phones in his days. But now you see that there's, there are connections that go through the air. That uh, you talk in a cell phone, I think it goes up the, to a satellite and from there it comes down to the other person. Is that how it works? Whatever it is, but there are cultures in the world that things are going on in the air that we have no idea what, what's happening over there. And that is... And, 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 and that's what happens. And, and, and that's the union of a person's mind. A person's mind can create and it can destroy. Let's say that somebody has a germ inside his body. Or somebody has a cancer inside of him. Yeah, I'm using the word, the shame I'm a foolish cancer. And he'll keep believing, he'll keep telling himself, you germ or you cancer has no rule over me. Only Hashem rules me, only Hashem gives me fears, not you. You can't do anything, you can't rule over me. So it won't affect him. It won't do anything. Because this person, when, when he says that only Hashem rules over me, he's creating it. He's creating a world that means in his in his world, so only Hashem exists, nothing else exists. And no no germs or no sicknesses and no diseases can have any effect. This is the famous Rabbi Chaim It's the same thing. Oh, uh, Rabbi Kaplan. What? Uh, we're that. We'll take a break now.